The first thing prayer does is that he opens you to the voice of God. The second thing is that he brings the presence over you. If you intend to manifest the influence of the kingdom, please understand divine presence. Otherwise, That's where some of these men have gone to. And when they speak, their words never fall to the ground. But in the name of Jesus, that presence will rest upon you. Hallelujah. And then some of us, the discipline to see food and leave it. Do you know, listen, do you know gluttony is a spirit? Anything you have must finish before you rest. It's a spirit. You can discipline yourself. Believe me when I tell you this. You can't do much with God and with destiny if you don't have control over food. As great people. Most people hate January because usually most, whether in your prayer group or in a church, there's some kind of fasting. There are people who don't have personal fasts in a month. Ah! In Africa, please repent. Please repent in the name of Jesus. You need strength and capacity. Especially if you're a man of God here, you're a priest, you're a father. The Bible gives us a medical advice that if you don't plan to walk, don't eat. It's an advice. He who does not walk should not eat. It's an advice that the moment you keep piling food without walking, you are dying. So go back home and discipline yourself and trust God for grace many africans are already dead while they walk we have to trust god to live a long time i don't know about you but no devil would take my life before my time the fullness of my days i will fulfill are you in agreement with me i pray over everyone here at david's christian center the spirits that caught men cut short their lives and their destinies may it be far from you in jesus name Let's sit down let me five minutes and let's finish these decisions and i speak over your life number five what is the fifth decision if you've been sleeping wake up the decision to be financially independent uh-huh the fifth decision that you must make is a commitment that i must i must sort this issue of lack and want and financial struggles this is not just bowing down to the flesh this is not just some carnal pursuit for money remember we are kingdom people and everything we deal with is with respect to our desire to see jesus glorified and to see him revealed can i tell you this dear brothers and sisters people of god do not let anyone downplay the necessity of supplies in your actualizing destiny you reject this truth you will spend your life paying the price proverbs 22 and verse 7 who would know that this kind of scripture will be in the bible read it with me please if you're a christian ready one to read that the rich rule it over the poor that means being poor has a dangerous side effect and it says the borrower is servant to the lender if you are an intelligent person and you want a servant how do you make that servant in this scripture make the best a borrower africa you see it now nigeria you see it now that whoever is a borrower must also be a servant so instead of calling you a servant i create an economic name and i call you a ecclesiastes chapter 9 from verse 13 don't forget this story for the rest of your life ecclesiastes 9 and verse 13 please look up this wisdom have i seen also under the sun and it seemed great unto me next verse please there was a little city and few men within it and there came a great king against it and beside it and built great bulwarks against it next verse please help me read one to read 
now there was found in it a poor wise man what a description and he by his wisdom delivered the city uh-huh yet no man remembered the same poor man the story concludes with this go back to verse 16 now not 13 you took us back then said i read with me now wisdom is better than strength uh-huh nevertheless the poor man's wisdom is despised and his words are not heard that a man by his wisdom saved a land and they swept him under a carpet economic empowerment is part of the dominion pillars you cannot truly walk in dominion until there is dominion in terms of finances now there are people who have taught this from a carnal standpoint and they continue to fuel lust in people and make people you lie down on people's cars lie down on their compound snap in front of their gates that's not how to be prosperous but can i tell you one of the decisions you must make up your mind to do is to wave poverty goodbye and insist that it waves you back there are many temptations that are not necessary when god has helped you are we in agreement yes sir lack and want can drive you to do things you never believed you would do believe me I believe that it is a prayer point in the heart of your man of God and his dear wife to see a church every leader who loves God and loves the people given to him among the many things you seek to see captured in their lives and their Christian experience a life of economic dignity a life of economic dignity a life of economic dignity imagine that i came here now and i'm thinking of some bills to pay and all of that and god has given me the prophetic and i can see your account number what do you think is going to happen i will easily yield to that temptation and say mister i'm looking at 100 million don't act like it's not there i will call the account number and tell you look just respect yourself the god who showed me that thing and god is saying me i gave you this as a gift prosperity is a weapon it can shield you from many things many things many things and at the end of this service i'm going to be speaking over your life that in the name of jesus this year even when men say there is a casting down you will prosper in a way that you want to run away from your testimony in the name of jesus christ there are so many things that are not prayer points they just need supplies one of my one of my dear sons in the ministry will say that prosperity will reduce your your prayer request and increase your prayer life that means you spend time praying but most of your prayer will be worship and praying in the spirit there are people who go to pray and for six hours they've not started praying in tongues yet because of the way the needs are plenty at the end of it there is no edification because you've strangled the part of prayer that is made for edification at the altar of your needs i made a decision years ago that i will never be poor this is not a carnal man's declaration i have studied poverty carefully and i've seen what it can do to a glorious destiny i don't know if you make up your mind to like it but let me counsel you remember our teaching here is choose life don't hope that you will be blessed you must make that decision this night that I'm tired of this thing. I'm tired of this.